got to ask about my college roommate that you had in Detroit and in Atlanta, Dan Owens. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, the, well, the reason he, he, the reason he got to uh, 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 Atlanta was because I knew uh, what a great kid he was and how hard he worked uh, from Detroit. And he was a, <clears throat> he was a part-time starter <clears throat> at, uh, at Detroit, and I just knew he was the right kind of guy and he could play. <clears throat> and so he and Roman were really two key parts of, uh, of, uh, of, of my time in Atlanta. And, and you know, I, I, I don't tell this, a lot of people this, but, but we, we were the worst team in the National Football League in 1993. And when I took the head job, we didn't have any first or second round draft picks for two years. And by signing the Dan Owenses and the Roman Fortins and the guys that that uh, could play and wanted to play, uh, we made the playoffs in, in uh, the second year. And uh, had the thing with Jeff George not really popped up, uh, I, I know that we would have been in the Super Bowl just like Dan was after really the team that, that Kenny and I assembled. Uh, Dan uh, was able to, to do a great job and get him to the playoffs in the Super Bowl in 97. I remember watching the game when Jeff George was – and you were going back and forth. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, no, I, I talk about it. I talk to Jeff all the time. I call him. He texts me. His the son, I think, is uh, coming out uh, this year. And, and I think he's a good player. Uh, he just hasn't had a real opportunity, been in the right system, kind of like what, what happened to me. But Jeff, uh, Jeff was uh, well, the best pure passer that I'd ever been around. I mean, I, I've never, to this day, I've never seen anybody throw the ball like he can throw it. And 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 he did have some competitiveness in him. It, it just what happened was when I traded for Jeff in Indianapolis to, to come down, I, I, I knew I could win with Jeff George. Nobody had ever won with him in Indianapolis. He hadn't, hadn't done anything, and other people were upset. And everything. So I thought it was going to be a perfect marriage, and it was, uh, to be quite honest. But I, I told Jeff, uh, the first year in 94, I said, Jeff, you have three years left on your contract. I said, here's the deal we're going to make. I said, I'm going to make you the highest paid player ever in the history of the National Football League. And I said, you have to trust me on this. I'm going to do that for you. And I said, but Atlanta is not going to pay you that money, okay? But somebody's going to pay you the highest contract in the history of the game. I said, so you have to, you cannot hold out uh, if we have success. He said, okay, Coach, that's, uh, that's good. Well, Lee Steinberg was his agent, who's my agent as well. And, and um, so we get to, after the 95 season, Jeff breaks all kind of records. He's, he makes the Pro Bowl, uh, and he, he doesn't show up for training camp. I just shared with you the, the deal we made. And so Bobby Aber, the players love, and they wanted to play for Bobby. They weren't really rallying around Jeff. And so – I told Jeff when he came back in and he signed, I said, now listen, you're going to have to, from day one here, you're going to have to be the Pro Bowl quarterback you were. And if you're not, if you're struggling with the offense again, I'm going to put Bobby in. He said, Coach, if you do that, uh, we're, we're done. I said, well, I'm just telling you what I'm going to do so you know when it happens. And so he went out the first game and he shot the lights out pretty good the first game. I can't remember who we played. And then we went, we went to Carolina and we had a uh, we had a particular play that that I knew was a touchdown from about the six or seven yard line. We had a timeout, and we we were going to win the game if we throw a touchdown. And I said, okay, now here's the deal, Jeff. They're going to blitz us right here, and they're going to do this on the on the coverage. And I said, nobody's going to cover Terrence Mathis on the corner because of the combination the way they play the combination coverage. And I said, you just buy a little night more time to the left and just touch it up to the corner. And so everybody was rallied around me standing on the sideline when that happened and, and heard me say that. And so Jeff took the snap, kind of bought a little time, and did, took a sack and didn't throw it up to the corner, and nobody covered Terrence Mathis. And so that just kind of turned the team uh, against, uh, against the situation, you know. And so – I told him next the following week, I said, listen, if you don't get off to a good start here, I said, I'm, I'm going to put in Bobby Bobby because the players uh, are watching me to see what I'm going to do. And so 
he struggled. We were playing, I think, Philadelphia on a, on a Thursday night game or something. And, and he struggled, he struggled. And finally, I put Bobby in, and that's when he kind of snapped. And, uh, you know, I said, you're done. Get out of here. Go to the locker room. And uh, he never played again for me. But at the same time, I give Jeff credit. Uh, he admitted he was wrong. He apologized. He, you know, I recruited his son. I mean, I still say to this day, if Jeff had played his whole career for me, he'd be in the Hall of Fame. That's incredible, considering all the, the great Hall of Fame guys you coached, Kelly, Warren Moon, and, and you're saying that this guy was, was the best. Man, he, was the best he was the best passer that I think nobody will ever – we'll never find another one. I think – I thought when I watched Patrick Mahomes in college that he had that accuracy – and I think uh, uh, I, I see it on, on his play right now, too. He's a real competitive kid and very accurate with the football. Uh, but I, don't, I still don't think he had Jeff, Jeff's arm. And Patrick Mahomes is, is up there at the top of the list with everybody now, I'm sure, too. <laughs> 